Hello, welcome to the video on the slope of a line. This is our fourth example set, example set D. And what we're going to do here is sketch a line given its slope and one point that it's on the line. So let me just kind of give you a quick kind of overview of what we're trying to do. So if we have one point that's on a particular line, in this case, we know 4, 1 is on the line. We're saying it's on the line. So for example, we'll go ahead and plot that out. 1, 2, 3, 4 on x, 1 on a y. So we know that 4, 1 is a coordinate or a point that's on the line. But that's not enough information for me to actually graph the line. I'm going to need at least how many other points? Okay, I'm going to need at least another point because if I have another point or two points that are on that line, I could simply just kind of connect the dots and draw my line. Okay, so that's the whole idea here is to be able to get two points, but we're only given one point. Okay, so how can we get that second point? Well, this is where we're really trying to hone in on the concept of the slope. So we have a line, okay, we know the point 4, 1 is on that line, so now we have to use the slope and or you're gonna have to use a slope to get to that second point. And I want you to think of uh, the slope information it's almost as a kind of set of driving directions or a kind of, um, yeah, I guess, a set of driving directions to get to that second point from this given point. All right, so let's take a closer look at the slope again. So m equals 2 thirds. Remember, m is the slope or it's the rise over the run. And so what we're seeing here is that we have uh, on this particular line, it has a line, a slope of 2 thirds that it's going to rise two units, two units for every three units it runs out. Okay, and it runs out to the right. Okay, so from our point four one, go to mark that right here. What we can do is from there go up to one, two, two units. Okay, I'm rising two units, but then I'm going to make a right turn, i.e., run out three. So I'm going up two, and then I'm going out three from here. So that'd be one, two, excuse me, one, two, three. So in other words, I went up two here. This represents my rise, and now I'm going to run out to the right three units this way. Okay, so that makes sense, All right? This right here is our slope. Okay, this right here represents our slope. So now we're at this point right here. And maybe you want to take a point and see if you can actually identify that coordinate. All right, so if this was 4, this is going to be what? It's going to be 3 more. This would be 7. And if this was 1 and we went up 2, this would be 3. Okay, so we have our second point right there. And now we have two points that are on that line. We can simply just go ahead and draw our line through it. Okay, so this is the graph of a line with a slope of 2 thirds that goes to the point four one. All right, so once again, remember, we need two points to graph a line. We're given one, and then we're gonna use that slope, informa slope information as a kind of set of, driving, as a set of driving directions, if you will, to get to our second point, and then we're gonna simply connect the dots. All right, so if that makes sense, the rest of these problems should be pretty straightforward.